Oh, welcome, Mark. I'm just uh, trimming the. Uh, I've just trimmed the grinding wheel. I'm going to try and sharpen a couple of chisels. Uh, I've got no special tackle to do this, so I have to do it by eye. Standards. I don't think that's in focus, is it? But it's nearly there. No, somewhere over here, I think you'll get it. But in my short time of wood turning, but I've done all sorts of skills in the past, particularly metal work.
the, uh, the sharp chisel will do all sorts. So I suppose this video is for those of us that use what we've got, or run what we've done, and still manage to make a bowl. That's lovely. I've got this one more I want to look at, this one. I've never used this one. Again, it's one of these old ones, made in Sheffield. And it says, I can't quite read what sort of steel it is. Looks like Jaggers or Jagger Brothers or something Brothers. Very old. I think the handle's newer than the shaft. And this one's got a different angle on altogether. degrees according to that. That's a very strange. Anyway, well, I just copied what was on the chisel when I got it. switch on the grinder anymore because this grinder spent a year in my son's cellar under water. He had a flooded cellar and a lot of my tools were in it. In fact all my tools were in it but this one landed up under water and that would be 30 years ago. Then I recovered it, dried it out, the only thing I couldn't fix was the switch so it's directly to a switch on the wall socket. So that, briefly, is how I sharpen my chisels. Which is not how it's done in the book or by professionals. But believe you me, that chisel is sharp. And it all do. Right, so that's how I, Phil Hamilton, sharpen chisels. Thanks for watching. Right, uh, here we go again. I've got a piece of uh, sapel. It, uh, in that batch I bought from the garden centre. And again, I'm going to start on it in just in the shape it is. Um, find that entry I've actually written on there. It's seven and three quarters by six and seven sixteenths. For those amongst us that still in old money. Uh, I suppose I could tell you what that is in the modern world. It's uh, 19 and a half centimetres by 17 centimetres. So it's a rectangle in the old ones and it cost me £3.50. So I've just sharpened my chisels so I'm going to have a go at uh, doing something with this. Let's move my rest of it nearer. Something like that. Just out centre. And I'm going to start at uh, about 500 or maybe 600 reps per minute. Something like that. There's a bit of vibration there so I'll just knock that down a bit. 500 it seems happy. We'll see how we go. I 
I think I'll put a mask on. I don't like wearing it, but when it's coming off like that, I think it's probably safer. But uh, safety isn't a high priority with me, but it should be with you. intimidating when you start on a square odd shape, an odd shaped piece of wood. Um, but as I say, with a mask on you're fairly safe. I mean it looks awful but and it's tearing out there but once we get the squareness off it will go a lot easier. You can just Unfortunately, the camera switched itself off again. Uh, I'm feeling it's suffering with age like I am. Anyway, I'm very sorry about that. Uh, thank you for watching the uh, video of sharpening chisels and starting on the sapel. Uh, watch this space for the future. I might get better at this videoing. <laughs>